So today's class is about drawing your navel to your spine and our, it's all about engaging our abdominals while we're practicing yoga. And once again, George is going to be able to demonstrate for us perfectly what it means to engage your core. Because George has perfect core. Like this is a man who's been practicing yoga for a long time. And what we're going to do is to be able to be like George where we can hold high plank really easily. Where we're going to be able to be in Tadasana with the core engaged. Um, and the core is just so important and through this really short, just five or six minute, I'm going to be talking about the cue that I give so often of drawing the navel point to the spine. And there's been great discussion on Donafari's uh, group this week about how we miss so much information if that's all we encourage our students to do. So once again, George is going to go over in the corner and keep practicing his abdominal work. So, as always, you know, with my classes, I love to create a bit of space for you where you can ground and really become present to the practice. And as we're talking about core particularly, it's great to feel centred and engaged. But when, when I say in my classes to draw your navel point to your spine, to be really simplistic about it, it is simply pulling your, your navel point in. And that's just falls so short of what the cue is really about. It's in, about engaging this whole abdominal area. We, we have the transverse abdominus, which goes all the way around the back. It's like a big rubber band. That's the transverse abdominus. We have the obliques, which are like a cross that, that go across this way. And then we have the, the pectoral muscles, which you know, people get a six pack from, from particularly concentrating on the pecs. So when, when I say to draw your navel point to the spine, what I'm really encouraging a student to do is to actually engage this full abdominal area. I'm going to show you, here there's a look. So we say draw the navel point to the spine. As you draw it in, the sternum heads down towards the pubis and you end up with a nice firm stomach, a nice firm abdominal area. And this is so important in so many of our poses to have a strong core. But that does not mean that in a lot of poses, whenever you reach up to get a big mouthful of oxygen, the stomach is released to get that full diaphragmatic breath, allowing the diaphragm down low into the belly. So you've got a full six litres, I think it is, of capacity there that you can fill with, with oxygen. So whenever you go to a class and you hear the teacher say, draw the navel to the spine, it's not simply you know, pulling it in, it's actually engaging that whole area. It's about pulling the mula bandha, the pelvic floor, the perineum. One teacher described it as, you know, you pull the A spot in first, and then you pull the B spot in. I'll let you work out what A and B stand for, but you draw A in first, and then you draw B. And you lift mula bandha, the perineum, and then you have ula bandha minor, which is just a couple of inches below the navel point, and then you have major, and ula bandha major is when you really draw in, really draw in that full abdominal area, and you've got a nice and tight, tight core. It feels awesome. So really, coming back to your natural breath, the core's released. You're breathing in that full abdominal area, and then when we reach up, a full diaphragmatic breath, and we'll just do a simple, just a simple flow, just so you can get a sense of when I'm engaging the core and when I'm letting it go. So you'll be at the head of your mat, you'll be looking at me. I'm going to step to the side so you can see me from side on, see what it looks like. Another beautiful day. You wouldn't be dead for quids. So now we reach up, big inhale. The full capacity of the lung is now open to receive air. 
reach up tall, maybe come up on the tippy toes, the back of the hands touch, your bottom goes back. Now you're drawing the navel point in. You're drawing the navel point into the spine, but you're engaging the whole abdominal area. And you're coming down, and now you're particularly drawing Uliana Bunda Minor, that spot above, just two inches below the navel point, coming into a forward fold. Coming to a halfway lift, abdominals are engaged. Step back into high plank, hold it here, stacking shoulder over elbow, over wrist. Spread the webbing of your fingers. You might see the ring finger is pointing out just slightly to the corner. You draw your thumbs together and you find your elbow creases shine to the front. Now my abdominals are engaged, I'm pulling up. They're really strong in the core. You lower down to your mat. You hover, core's engaged. Now you come to a full inhale. The abdominals let go, so you can take that full breath in. And then drawing the core in, exhale, push back to the under. Walking the dog, probably a greyhound rescue dog. Beautiful cause. Get a dog, get a greyhound. Now navel points drawn in, meaning the whole core is engaged. And we take the weight into the left foot and lift the right leg high. And then we engage the core again, lift the right leg, bring the knee to the nose and then place the right foot down, the left heel comes down, and you inhale, and you come up. This is your warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. The shoulders are soft. Now if you see the core, hopefully, maybe a little bit, it's drawn in. And the core is what provides stability. Now I'm cribbing right foot forward because I want to feel powerful today. Today's a good day to be powerful. Strong core, strong breath, strong will, strong mind, holding the pose, building up muscle strength, big inhale, the full capacity of the lungs increases now. The core softens, allowing that full diaphragmatic breath. And then exhale to warrior two. Just checking my pitch there. Torso vertical over the hips. The really under the prunium lifts up. Core's pulled in now. And nice and strong. If you just come up on the ball of the right foot a tad, lift the right heel, you can feel the release into the hip flexor there. And you've got beautiful warrior one, breathing. Full breath, and then drawing, engaging, drawing the navel point in, but that means engaging this whole area. Exalted warrior, and then cartwheel down. Come on the ball of the left foot. Lift the right leg, come forward. Chaturanga. Big breath in. Rolling over the toes. Drawing that early on abundant minor in. Now the reason I say come on the ball of the right foot is to give me more space to lift my knee up to my nose and place it down. And then the right heel comes down 
and you inhale, coming up into warrior one on the other side. As you build up core strength, you won't need to come up on the ball of the foot to step the left foot forward. You'll simply lift the knee, bring it forward. But at now where I am, I need to lift that, come on the ball of the foot to give me space to get my knee through. Now just allow the shoulders to be soft. Gee, I can feel that banana cake I ate before I started. I shouldn't have had the second piece. Now I can feel that my right ankle's not just right. So this is where you listen to your body and you make any adjustments that you need so the pose sits well within your body. Now I'm lifting the perineum, navel point, comes in, the sternum engages, comes down to the pubis. A big inhale, and then exhale to warrior two. Now the right foot's about five degrees, pushing into the outer edge of the right foot. Left knee over left ankle. Spread the webbing of the toes of the left foot and you're breathing. Engage the core, draw a navel point in, but be aware that that's not a cue just for tucking it in. It's engaging the whole region. Come on the ball of the left foot, lift the left heel. Now left palm over, reach up, exalted warrior, and then cartwheel down to the mat. Lift the left foot, step it back, high plank, chaturanga, upward facing indoor, inhale, full capacity, roll over your toes, Pushing back, back into dog. And then look to the front of your mat, either step or jump forward, exhaling as you jump forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, hands by your side. And there we go. This is David, that's George, still practicing his plank over there. You're doing a great job. This is a simple yoga class, talking about the drawing the navel to the spine, but how it's so much more than just tucking it in, it's engaging it all. If you like it, you know, press the notification bell, subscribe. And if you're a teacher and if you feel have noticed anything that you think that I could do better or improve on, please add comments. Like, I, I really want to grow to be the best teacher I can be. And if you see something that I'm doing that you think that could be refined, please offer your comments. I really look forward to, to feedback. Ah, that's lovely. Really enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.